Now we want to take a look at how we can use GitHub along with the Visual Studio uh, Express 2013 for the web. So I'm going to get into my GitHub and I'm going to create a new repository. All about Mike. copy that location and then I'll open my local git uh, I can see I'm in the on the desktop directory if I wasn't I'd need to change and I'll get clone and my folder is now here can see it's got the readme file in it that I it's got the readme file that I initialized initialized it with. So now I can open Visual Studio, create a new website, empty website, and I'm going to select this folder that I just created, this repository. I create a new website in the existing location. And now I can see that readme file that was there from the initialization. There's my web config. If I do a git status, whoops, I'm not in the right directory. I have to cd into that directory. Now do a git status. I can see that there's files that are not being tracked. I want to track them. Okay. I also want to get rid of this readme file. I don't need that, so I can just delete it. And now I can see that a file has been removed, so I'll need to remove it. Okay, things look good. I'll make my initial uh, commit. Okay, that's been taken care of. I can push it at this point if I would like, or I can add more content. I'm going to go ahead and add some more content. One other item I would like to add, new folder, and I'm going to call that folder CSS. And inside of CSS, I want to add a style sheet. And I'm going to call it style.css. And I just put some basic CSS in there. Save it all up. Uh, I need to link to that style sheet. Get the page of title. And I need to link to that particular style sheet I just created. I can save it up. 
And if I switch to design view, I can see that the CSS is being applied. I can add a little text. And view it in the browser to see if it's what I expect. Looks pretty good. At this point, I can make sure everything is saved. I can go back to my get, and I should see some new things to add. They're they're not being tracked right now, so I'm going to track them. And I'm going to go ahead and make a commit here since I've got my style sheet going. And I've created my second commit. When I come in here, I can add a little more information if I would like to. Uh, I think I will put a label in. Get rid of the text from the label and give it a unique name. I want that label to be populated when the page is loaded. So I'll do this to create an event handler. And then I'll put the code for the event handler in. LBL, welcome. On the text property I want to write to, and I want to write so I'm going to write out a string. And then I've got a VB control behind there, the date time dot now, so figure out what time it is right now. And I'm using the long date string method. I'll save this up, view it in my page. Looks pretty good. I do want to add a period here at the end. Excellent. After I've done that, I can go back to get. Been a couple of files modified, so I'll need to add them. Now I'm on my third commit, I'm going to push up to GitHub. So I'll get push. Origin master. So it appears there's a bug in Git version 185 uh, that causes this fatal error about the username. And supposedly I can remove and re-add the origin. So let me do that. Okay, it looks like my changes have gone up to GitHub. I can see there are four commits. And it looks like it's working.